<laughs> it's happening. All right, no night. Day uh, next week ending seven fourteen. There we go. Now we're starting to get people in. It takes a minute for them to get uh, that, uh, that uh, what do they call it, notification. Addicted to ubiquity. Hey, Joey, what's happening? What's happened, addicted to ubiquity? Okay, a rush. Joey comes to the line. Okay, let's get rid of that. New one, new person, bam, no problem. Hey, Miss Honeybee, hello, how are you? Brett Monkhouse, what's happening, what's happening, how are you? Rick from New York, my buddy's here. Yes, yeah, nice to be out and about, definitely. You guys all right tonight? Staying true, just staying true to the walk, man. You know, gotta make this happen, man. Gotta make this keep losing the weight. You feel, might feel good when they lose it. Oh, the weather in Florida was humid, hot today, man. What were you saying? It was about 85 today? It's beautiful right now. It's perfect. The sun's down. It's, uh, humidity is just not so high. A little breeze. But it's always pretty good here, man. We very, I don't even think we had a bad spring, man. To be honest with you, we didn't have that many cold days at all this year. But it's a really a rare, uh, rare winter. Usually get about three weeks of bad weather, but not all in a row. Spread out, you know, week here, week there. Of course, up north, you get a lot of, a lot colder weather. But this year was different. Means it's going to be a tremendous hot summer. Okay, that was pretty pretty good. You got nothing but rain. Well, some places the rainy season start with spring. You know, rain's good. You need rain. Gotta have rain. Oh, I'm saying, <laughs> you popped up in the chat, like <laughs> I see you popped up in the chat. I was like, hello, wife. I forgot you're right next to. Me. 60, 60 ain't bad. That's a good uh, spring day. I would take 60 all day long. I'll take a 70, 65, 70 all year round every day. That'd be perfect weather. I would take that anywhere. You forgot where Rick that star for rain, man. Arizona, man. When they get those droughts and it don't rain, it could, bam, man. It goes for like years. They pray for rain. Yeah, I guess I started the stream about 7.40, 45. This way I can still get a little bit of the daytime before it goes completely black. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. As long as it's cool out, I don't care. Where's everybody at? Come on, we got to keep going, keep going. But you got to find a way here. Everybody good tonight, that's the main thing. Yeah, I'll take 62. I mean, yeah, technically I would too, but I've been saying perfect for me. 65, 70 all year round in a place would be awesome, I think. My junk cars. Yeah, this seems like the best route at night because it's more, it's more commercial. Plus, it's a, if I do the whole perimeter, but I'm not doing it tonight, but I'm doing a half swing tonight, but if I do the whole perimeter, it's, it's a good walk. Get a good walk in, so. And I got it down to like one hour and 14 minutes. I just gotta figure out the mileage. I'm guessing it's probably three and a half squared, a complete square. Maybe it might be more. Hour and 14 minutes. Yeah, probably about three and a half. Sounds good, all right. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, guys. And thank all the mods, too, again, for doing their job. Appreciate it. You guys are all volunteer. You don't have to be here. You guys help because you want to, and I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Trust me, it means a lot. I think we got a good group of mods. I really do. I really do. You're gonna get them. They're gonna come out. You know, you can just uh, appreciate it. Better I don't see it. You know, it keeps me positive. Keeps me away from talking about it, which is what I like. Oh, that's a furniture outlet store. That's what that is. I couldn't tell at night when it was dark. That place? Yeah, that's where um, a couple of the people from. It's like for office furniture. Yeah. That's a big warehouse. That's where I saw at nighttime was people were going down that way. Like they were probably going to break in there. 
Put them. Oh, I caught a train yesterday for the first time in my walk. I caught a long freight train. Huh? I caught a long freight train last night. It was wild. I, jumped on it. Just I, I just, out. I said this. Should I run and jump on it and get on the stairs and go? I would have. Yeah. If I would have slipped, I would have went underneath and I'd get crushed. Fast. Yeah. No, it was going real slow, so no. you could have catch up to it. No, That's it no. doesn't matter how fast. I'm afraid something. I was afraid if I slipped or something. Bad happened. Thank you, Mrs. Honey. We appreciate that. Yeah, we're all, you know, we keep it to a real group, good pe group of people. But uh, where's my man, uh, uh, Rostov, man? Yeah, fucking Rostov. Where's Rostov, man? man I can't see you. Lone Wolf, what's happening, buddy? How are you? Are you all right tonight? Be great now. I start to memorize everybody's name and get to know everybody. It's great. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I'm just gonna do a half swing today. I mean, Saturdays we just started, but I, uh, as long as I get you know, close to an hour in today, I'm good. You know, the main thing is sticking to it every day, just doing what I'm supposed to do. That's the main thing for me. I like to do time, it's much better. I mean, it was nice at 2 o'clock when it was cool, you know, when it wasn't so humid, humid humidity wasn't so bad. But we knew this was going to have to switch because there's no way anybody can walk. It's crazy to try to walk in that crazy humidity, so. Yesterday we were talking about how cheap they are, bus stops with no benches. And then you take almost the three quarters of the whole square to, uh, to uh, have one bench. It's crazy. Bigger cities, you got every bus stop got a nice... And you keep calling me Mr. Grinch, huh? You know? I mean, that's, that's getting to be uh, crazy, Mr. Grinch. I'm not no Mr. Grinch. I just... Uh, Sometimes I'm so very serious, you know? I'm not a cringe. I know, I know, I know. You're the star. I forgot. I forgot you're the star, Venom. I forgot. No, I'm not no Grinch. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe we should strike him. Maybe I should ban Venom. No, I would never, I would never do that. He's right, I'm a Grinch something. Huh? Andrew? <laughs> I was kidding with fighter, Venom. No, 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 please let him, I'm gonna talk smack about him. He, I, talk smack about he me. He called me Mr. Grinch. He called me Mr. Mrs. Grinch. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Grinch. All right, let's get some more people, keep it rolling. It's, uh, yeah, this is awesome, man. How many people are actually walking or doing some kind of exercise when we do this stream? That'd be nice to know, you guys can let me know. Leave it in the comments. That'd be great, you know, to see how many people are actually, or maybe if I just help them mentally, spiritually, you know, to walk. This positiveness, I think, is what's great. Being positive. It's the whole thing. It took a while for me to stay 100% positive. It took a long while, long time. Once I, uh, so uh, today I edit my uh, my Twitter page. I don't need it. I don't need to see it. Don't need to take the negativity too much. I want to stay positive, focus on, and be a good uh, uh, have a good stream with the walk and talk. So I think it was just best for me to. I got rid of it. So that's a big step for the right direction for me. You know, to stay positive, focus. Uh, it took me uh, you know, a lot of. I guess a lot of craziness to get to that point to say, you know what? I don't. I just gotta keep positive, focus, keep calm, talk about good things. Got a bunch of good people here. Brent, what are you saying? It's nearly 8 a.m. here. Oh, you're on 8 a.m. So 12 hour difference, huh? Because we're almost 8 p.m. So you guys are 12 hour difference. Wow. So you're just getting up, right? So I guess, assume you're just getting up. You said 8 a.m. right? 8 a.m. here and watching the garden. No rain. Wow, that's cool, man. You know, I think it's got to be cool to see the different other places in the world, man. It'd be awesome, man. It's like when I, how about, what is it, Arizona? And what other state? Arizona. Let's see, there's two states that never change the clocks. Is it Arizona? What's the other one? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. What's the other state besides Arizona that doesn't change your clocks? Sunday day, that's Sunday morning. Correct. 
I can't remember the second, there's two states that don't change the clocks. I know Arizona's one of them, and something on the East Coast, or in the Midwest. Anybody know? And I usually know that. That's we're getting old age, sometimes you just forget the simple stuff. Uh, let me think. It's not Illinois, it's not, it's not Wisconsin, it's not Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's not Jersey, is it? Indiana, that's right, Indiana, okay, right next to Illinois, that's right, Indiana, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Two Army one. That's right, Indiana. And in Alaska, six months a year it's completely dark, and six months a year it's all day long. Man, that's gotta be weird. Six months of just never, never being but night. That's strange, man. I don't know if I can handle that. You right? I'm gonna get you some donuts, a dozen of donuts? You're going over to Crumpy's, huh? With the fresh donuts that are made in the morning. About 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you go stand out in the line out there. The family turned their whole house into a bakery for years where he lives, where he's from. Unbelievable. Three stories, they all live in the building. Bakeries downstairs. What a, you wouldn't believe how many donuts they sell, man. Well known. The diabetes, yeah. Ben and go for that. There's my dog, Ross Dog. Where you been, man? Not worried about you. Where's my Ross Dog? We gotta talk shop. They just, oh, they just opened? I thought they did it like three in the morning. I didn't know they opened at night. Or they, they, they make, no, I thought it was after midnight. Would they change the time? I don't remember. I thought for sure it was, we went, we went like three or four in the morning, I thought. <laughs> that Bosley, number 27 with the White Sox, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Had Bosley also. I think he wore 27 when he was the white side. I know he came with both teams. Where else did he play? You know, I, I saw an old player I had in 2000. Was it 2010? Yeah, 2000. Ryan Garko. He's the Tigers player development guy. Good dude, man. So I'm going to send him an email tonight. And uh, maybe I'm going to go over to Lakeland for a game next this week, weekend. Broadcast live from there. Be awesome. So I'm gonna do a half swing. I'm gonna do like a a triangle, not a triangle, like an L shape in the back. Back here by these warehouses. It's a good. It's a good quarter of a mile, mile, half mile. I'll still get up close to two and a half, three miles. Should be all right. Fifteen minutes in. I figure every 15 minutes is about a, about a, just under a mile, I think. If I'm correct. Oh, there's a Publix. Uh, it's like a catering thing. Yeah, it's like the outside thing for barbecuing and stuff, see? See the grill? Oh, it's a wrap. The place does the wrap. That's what they're doing. They're making a new one. Custom wraps for your business. Cool. We do wraps. Awesome. Look at that. Trailer, foot, foot, food trucks, vehicles, commercial. You guys, do it right. That's right, Mrs. B and Mrs. C team, teamwork. Yes, we all definitely got to definitely can say cat on TV. We all get along well, and we definitely, definitely don't try to. We treat each other like equals, and we're all got a part of what we do here. So that's the big. Big difference, I think, with a lot of with a lot of people. We uh, we stay together. You gotta take criticism from your own people. You gotta take ideas in. You gotta you gotta act on ideas by other people that work in the channel. It's the greatest thing to do because I'm always a big guy to give credit where credit's due. So 
That's why I love Kai, because Kai is, he just, he's on fire. He, he sees a vision like I do, and that's without even, you don't even have to sit down and compare notes. He just sees the vision, and we're on the same page. It's so great, man. I have a lot of respect for Kai Braccaccio and Mrs. Honeybee, so when you got that kind of respect for somebody, you cannot be nothing but a winner, so that's how I believe. Send me a donut. Time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. You know, I think, you know what I think, uh, uh, Brent and uh, Ross? I think he's going to work there. I think he's making the donuts. Because they don't, 8 o'clock, he's going in to make the donuts, I think. That's what he's doing. Because I'm pretty sure I'm right about 3 o'clock when, the, when they open the doors for selling it. So I think he's, a, he's probably the donut maker now. We know he's a hot dog guy, so... You peddling those hot dogs. See if you can find my old suit around. See if they brought it to the new stadium. And where it at? He's a great kid. Great, great man. Mr. Venom Spider. College brothers. I see two, two men in the truck. This one's college brothers. Movie storage. Bunch of college kids. Bunch of trucks out here. Successful look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine moving trucks. They must be really big. Do, 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 do. TwoCollegeBrothers.com. Oh, they got Tampa, Gainesville, Pinellas, Sarasota. A big company. Huh? Up here. I'm pretty sure I went to the straight street. I know the street looks different. But I remember this parking lot. I think, it's, I think I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Because that was parking lot was there. I remember the fence. Yeah, this is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. WKRP in Cincinnati. Yeah, he's like me. I got every episode of certain series too. And I'm like, a, I used to be an old. I had all kind of movies and series that I like. And that Sam B. Joey's streams are the best. Thanks for coming out. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hi, Citizen M. What's happening? Do a flip, John. <laughs> no, I'm too old to be flipping. I can cartwheel. My, my wife says she can cartwheel. You really can? Yeah. Seriously, still? Yeah. Uh-oh, she's going to cartwheel. Here we go. She, I hope, uh, here we go. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's trying to get her... Here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, that wasn't a full cartwheel. No, it wasn't. For my short ass. <laughs> but you, effort. A for effort. <laughs> good A for effort. Thanks, Sam B. A citizen I'm is check out check out the channel. They do a, a lot of professional work there. So Mason, what's happening? What's happening, buddy? The man is here. Mason in Port Mason and Boy. It might it might have been the next street. No, because it's no, because it's no, I remember that. There's the road right there, so no we're on the road. This looks different for some reason to me. To Mrs. Grinch, oh. who, who said that? You didn't let him see that, did you? Venom. No, but you didn't let him see me do the portal, did you? I let everybody see it. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, I've done a better one, like a genius. Well, I don't, I don't know if anybody really paid attention, but hello, Mason, 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 Mason. Who's on first? I don't know. No, he's on third. What's on second? Third base. <laughs> Great get, Rick. Mason is a legend. He is a legend. Give him that. That's for sure. Mason, good people. You guys are all good people, man. I gotta say, we're getting, 
we're getting some really good people. Like I said, we got great mods. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. The stream is definitely doing well as far as, you know, people are enjoying themselves. Kai's doing a wonderful job with his show. And Venom, he's just really doing well. And Mr. C, the Alpha Shot Lounge, and Venom. It's, it's, it's great. And Venom gets to work with Mr. C and Kai. And, uh, you know, well, hold on, I gotta stand corrected, Mr. Spider. I get to work with you. I'm, I'm not trying. Uh, you're not, the man, buddy. That's right, man. I'm, I gotta stand corrected. Mr. C is there's a privilege of working with Venom. That's right, and Kai. And Kai. I'm sure that Kai feels the same way about Venom. You know, he's the, he's the, he's the star. Because he can't. I think he just shows you more respect. Nah, I know. He just, he is. He, I think what it is, he, like he said, he just, you know, he learns. He's definitely, I definitely could tell you, he would be a great manager of Are you baseball. From north or south of Chicago? Are we what? Are you from north or south of Chicago? I, I, lived in, I lived on the north side. I lived by Wrigley Field, four blocks. Grew up four blocks from Wrigley Field. Southport Avenue. Yeah. Spent a lot of time on the south side of Bridgeport. That's where they got the breaded steak sandwich up there and great, great, uh, a couple great pizzerias with the deep dish up there. And, uh, little Mexico's on the south side, 26th Street. And of course you got Cermak, which is Chinatown. Great Chinatown in Chicago. Greek town, and all, everything's on the south end. Greek town's Halstead, and, uh, and then you got called Little Italy, Taylor Street. I don't know how much of Little Italy's left. Oh yeah, I'm right, it's past this year. And where the road, remember I told you the road was real nice. I said the road was, yeah, yep. I just didn't recognize this part. Yeah, it's uh, Chicago's a great place, but you, there's no place, from what I understand, that they're all, it's all war zone everywhere, man. It is crazy over there. Gang, gangs have multiplied so bad. No one's safe. See, Cabrini Green used to be the, you know, the big high rises, and they tore them down and they, you know, made townhomes. But it's still just as bad as ever, so. And that's on the north side, Clybourne Avenue. And then you got the Robert Taylor Homes, and I think Robert Taylor Homes. I'm pretty sure there. Are, I don't think there's any more high rise, high rises no more. I know Jersey's got a lot of them. A couple times I've been to Jersey. There, I think they still got them. New York still got the neighborhoods with the with the projects, or they they that they break those down and they made them to like the condos or whatever, townhomes. A breaded, a breaded steak sandwich sounds. Yeah, it, it, Riccobino's is the name of the place. It's famous in Chicago. It's outside Chicago. It's in Bridgeport. It's called Riccobino's, and they do a breaded steak. It's like this big, man. It's like a, um, it's unbelievable. Pretty cool. Of course, I, I don't like you know. I'm being from Chicago. I'm not a big deep. I'll eat. I love the deep dish. I just don't big. I rather have a thin crust. What? Chicago pizza. I, love pizza. I like the deep dish, but I'm not a, it's not my number one priority. I really have the thin crust. They make it so thin. But, you know, the sauce, the cheese, it's all in the water, man. These pizzerias that are here in Florida that, that, that are people from Chicago, to make the Chicago pizza be the same, it's, uh, they have to, uh, um, they have to, uh, put it about the water. Yeah, it looks like it looks like they already been through here. I'm just walking past the warehouse district. So we got just about 30 minutes in, so we'll be heading making the turn. We're doing an L tonight. <coughs> I've had the same cough, this open cough for a long time. Just can't get shaken. So what's uh what's everybody doing tonight? What's what's your weekend like? What's uh what'd you guys do today? Anybody do anything special? Just normal stuff or anybody on vacation? Anybody wanna share anything? Like I said, you guys can start leaving comments and suggestions or you guys, hit the like button. Yeah, please that's right. Please I never say that. Hit the like button, please. 
Yeah, no, smash the like button. Smash that like button. Come smash on, guys. It. Smash it like you would your You know? At best, you do that and leave comments. It don't cost nothing. And then uh, I hope I'm, you know, I hope that's not begging when I ask for to hit the like button or leave a comment. God forbid. I don't want to be begging. I'm just being a smart ass now. Good old fashioned ribbon. So we're going to make the turn here. We're going to go almost to the end here. Take the turn and start heading back. And then Monday we'll broadcast. All next week, 7.45. Monday through Saturday. Alpha Shot Lounge will be Mondays and Wednesdays until May. And then they're going to be changing their days again. Uh, we got to wait for the hot dog man to give us a schedule. And uh, once that in, we'll change that. And then, of course, Kai at 7.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday, which Saturday he does a morning show. Uh, uh, he does his political show on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Great show. Puts a lot of hard work into it. Man, it's just a perfectionist. You got to appreciate that and respect that. You know, Kai's the kind of guy I could just, I could go away for five years and say, here's my bank account, here's my home keys, here's my business keys, and come back and everything will be intact. That's how strongly I feel about our friendship. And that's a fact. You can't say that about a lot of people in life. But I could definitely say that about Kai Brancaccio. I, uh, I've had a lot of people, a lot of acquaintances, a lot of serious friendships with people over the years, but he is just, you know, he's just a great person, man. He puts a lot of faith in me, and I'm, I'm just grateful for that. He, stays, he gives me a lot of positive stuff, and I really thank him for that. The donuts. The Venom's going to make the donuts, Mrs. Honeybee. All right, so we completed the L, and uh, we're right on schedule. We'll start making back home, and like I said, don't forget, those next week will be 7.45 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Hey, Brian's going to do it. Hey, there's another great guy right there, another friend of mine, and great dude, man. Brian, how's everything going today, brother? How's that? Uh, you enjoying? You at home relaxing? Are you out and about? Brian's a good people, man. Rick from New York is a remarkable person. They're every everybody that's here, Ross Dog, Brent, Chris Mack. I don't haven't seen him tonight. Uh, Miss Honeybee, Kai, Venom, everybody. Group group of people. Down to uh, six days to the WATP thing. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. I offered to take those guys to, I know they were talking about maybe going to the spring training game and I offered to be on me to get tickets and take them and show them a good, show them a good spring training day, you know? They said they'll let me know, you know? It's just the kind of guy I am. If they're gonna go to them. Let me do it my way, you know. I'm gonna get up to the sky box or something. Depends on what team I go see, like the Tigers or see if I still got any juice. Yeah, I just gotta get a permission ahead of time and it shouldn't be a problem. One thing when you heard a lot of years in baseball and you were a good guy, you could always call for a favor from here and then and they'll be glad to do it, you know up to the box, the skybox, and all the food's free and everything, man. Get everything. And they're, they, 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 they treat their people good, man. I saw Brennan, boy, he was on fire today, huh? It's all over, right? I gotta say this. In a positive way, I just did not like the way Melton attacked Ray on his own channel. I mean, I was a little disappointed. Ray kind of didn't know what to do there, and I, you should have never let him do that. Melton is just goes to show you that, how can anybody be afraid of him? And to let him do that, man, I mean, I mean that makes you think it's a work, you know? That right there, I think it was a work. I, I really do, you know? If you don't know my email, Ray, you don't, where you stand, Ray? Don't look, look. I mean, that's kind of stupid. Ray's one of them guys. He's a spur of guy. He's got it. He knows where he's got to go. He knows he's got to be in Las Vegas. He knows he's staying downtown. But, you know, leave Ray alone, man. I'm just a Ray guy. I like Ray. And uh, he's always showing me respect. And uh, I don't know. I just, I'm just not a Melton person. Never have been. And uh, 
He just needs people to bully him the way he bullies people. I think for sure Mesa was right. Melton needs to face people that will stand up to him, put him in his place. <laughs> KB is a genuine. You, you know, at least he's consistent about that, right, Rick? Though? Yeah, but fuck him, though. My wife can't stand listen no, to his voice. He's a fucking loser. And I, 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 I just get, because he's so negative and always explosive. For me, I like just to see what he's going to say, you know? My wife says, oh, when she walks through, she goes, oh, honey, turn that off, please. I can't, I can't or put I some can't headphones. I can't stand voice. his voice at all. She, uh, and I, and she's right, though. He's a, my headphones. But, uh, yeah, he is an asshole. He knows it. He's a loser. You're an idiot! Fuck Ray's a loser, fuck you, Ray! You're a loser! You know, that's how he is, you know? What an idiot! We'll be talking for next week. Melton! Melton is such a piece of shit! What a loser! Tell us something we don't know, so are you, fuck. I tell you who I really like. I wish I got the dome. Class that Mike Braschetti is a good dude, man. Send him a D. One of the last things I did before I banned, got rid of my Twitter page was telling me, Mike, I think I'm a big fan. Just keep on chugging away, man. He, he said, thank you, Joey C. I appreciate that. And, and I, just, I just think he's, I know he's been around a long time, man. I didn't know, realize how many, he played, he was around some big name people, man. He knows a lot of people. So I just like him. I think he's funny and he's, you know, he, uh, he's got great comebacks and people are bouncing on him, so he's really quick to that, so that's what I like about him. Yeah, he does hold a piece of hostage. He does, I mean, he, if you, what are you doing? You can't go, you, you gotta go to Mountain, that's it, I'm done, you're done, you're not getting paid, you know? He does, I mean, you got him that that holds people up for money, and you got SJ who, who's just, you know, if you say, I don't like, the, your pants look like crap on you, you know, you're done, you know, with him, you know? Something like that. Just something stupid. So, they actually are two pieces of pod. They they uh, they deserve each other on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a podcast level, you know. Yeah, because Brennan, I like how he throws it in here. Like, yeah, just tell me about it. Send it in a super chat. You know, he'll. I don't think that guy's ever read a free chat, ever. You forget about that. He'll tell you. Just send it in a super chat. You know, don't send me a DM. Don't send me an email. Send it to me in the super chat. He gets that in there every day. Uh, but I beg. He don't. If I ever met anybody beg, that's he's the biggest beggar there is. And then when he gets that 49 and above, oh, he just blows them so hard. He blows everybody. Oh, they're the boss. I mean, my God, whatever they want, you know. Gustavo, Gustavo, he'll pay for everything, you know, right? He'll fly you there, he'll fly you there, he'll put you up in a big suite, you know, right? Borgo, you know, Borgo, my horse guy. Whatever you want. Vape and Dago, you know, thank you. Whatever you guys want. Brock Lee, I mean, he just, as soon as he sees that $100 boy, he's all, he's, he's sucking, boy, he's on his knees. And he knows it. That's right, Brennan, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm a loser. Joey sees a loser. Come on, Ken. Come on. Get riled up. It smells like horse manure. Damn, I, holy shit, man. My wife, I didn't realize she was so, I thought you said I walked too slow. I thought you said I walked too slow. Oh, I don't want to leave you behind like that. I thought you were right behind me. I look back, you're half a mile back. What kind of man would I be? Yeah, he, he, he manufactures drama. I agree, no, 100%. He does that. He, he purposely tags to tax people, you know. But he is a baby, man. I mean, who is he? Unless they are on the contract, and he's gonna say, "Listen, you're on the contract. I'm gonna put you on three times a week. You're on for a whole year, and you can't. I mean, put it and make a clause. You can't go on any other podcast. That's different. If you, you know, but you can't tell them because based on when you call them and you want them. I mean, I'm sure you don't sit there and say. Hey, uh, next week, he does not do that. He, he, he gives about a half hour notice if that's it, that is. But a couple of eight times I was on, it was like, be ready at four o'clock and don't be late. Like, what? And, and come in hop and not too hot. I'm like, okay. If, see, he like what he wants to try to do is he hopes to chat 
is really going to send a bunch of super chats to hating that person. But if they if they hate on the person, don't send a super chat. Then he said, "You're done." You know, and he gets rid of you. You know, like he did just chat. He used chat. Now he's now he's made, he's Chad the loser, and you know, stuff like that. You know, it, it's just phone. It is. He, it's all who we can use. You know, and to me, that's begging. But nobody would say that to him. He don't deserve to be monetized. He's a beggar. That's what I'm saying. I'm calling that out. He, and you know when he gets mad, he'll dox people. Doxes more people than anybody. That's a fact. As soon as he gets mad, I'll get everybody's phone number, anybody's address. You just call me up, you can DM me, I'll give it to you whatever you want. Yeah. See, he does it. He'll do it right. He'll tell you at least he's gonna do it. Melton is the sneaky one. He does everything through Discord and nothing gets back to him, so it comes back to make him dirty. But he's the one that does all that stuff. Elton is probably the biggest scumbag in the Dabblers, by far. He really is. He knows it. I wish that if I'd have seen that yesterday when Ray, I would have said, Ray, send me I'd have went in there and lit him up for Ray. I, I want to so bad. Him and KB both, I just want one 10 minute session with them. I light them both up. That'd be my that would be my next request. That'll be it. Get it out of my system with them too. And I mean light them up. What happened here? What's this guy saying? Retro duck. What's going on? Why is he? Well, if you're one years old, you gotta go. But we know you're not. She don't know. Usually she walks. She walks faster than me. She said because when I first started out, of course I was, was. You know, now I walk pretty good, man. I mean, I, every every muscle I use is fine now. So. I just want everybody to have a blessed weekend and thank you guys. I mean, really appreciate it. Oh, you just complain? That's all right. We all got to have bad days. It's okay to complain. You know, we're here. We're here to listen. You know, we'll listen to your complaint. Complaining. Everybody has a bad day. Everybody has a bad week. Everybody has a bad month. We all been there. I don't mind people being complaining if it's something they're just upset about but I just don't want to hear no bad stuff you know or towards me bad you know or my family other than that I, everybody's cool man you know Chris Mack airs my boy I was just talking about you a little while ago so I was just telling everybody how we got a great mods and Chris Mack but I didn't see him tonight how you doing my friend Hope everything's well guess what Monday starts buddy seventh week Chris out of everybody here I definitely proved that I'm dedicated to this, wouldn't you say? I'm very devoted to this. Man, I think now people could take it serious. Would you say, or is it still too too early? I think we're definitely showed that we're dedicated to this and really want this bad enough. So I think we're I definitely feel good. I feel I even walked today when I was we just went like to the store and I, I said my Man, I could see you could look down and, you know, without having to suck my belly in too much, you know. I, you could tell I lost, you know, so it feels good. It feels great. It feels like an accomplishment. Yes, I am still losing weight. Uh, I lost uh, another pound in three ounces. Because I was like, I was, I had, was that just, just at 10 pounds, so about another pound, maybe three ounces. So yeah, it's, uh, it's working. I'm definitely, yeah. You know, like I know the walking part is just part of it. I mean, the walking part is just building up my, you know, my lung capacity. I walk up the stairs now, I, like, remember I used to get way out of breath. And I'm sometimes, unless I'm carrying something heavy, otherwise I'm pretty good now going up the stairs. And I got a lot of stairs to walk up, but. Yes, honey. <laughs> uh, I know, you talking about that funny thing? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. But yeah, thank you, Chris. I appreciate you recognizing that, man. 
But uh, yeah, so I, to the, I mean, everything at some point's got some kind of sugar in it. I try to, no soda, which you know what a can of Coke has sugar-wise. So as many as I was doing, I'm, that's gone. No candy, like, remember the old type of butterscotches and stuff? Every once in a while I'll have one of them, or the root beer, the little barrel root beers, or stuff like that. Or uh, Jolly, Jolly Trout, what are they called? Every once in a while, not, not a lot, just every once in a while, you know. Or the cinnamon, I like the cinnamon ones. You know, I, those are good. But other than that, staying pretty true to my not eating late, drinking a lot of water. I, like I said, I was electric lights is what something I need. Someone told me, sent me a message about something good to have after I do my walk. It's got a lot of electrolytes. I got it written down at home. I forgot what it was. But I was doing the Powerade, which has a lot of electrolytes, but it was still high in sugar, too much. My son pointed because Dad, I still got too much sugar in it. You're going to drink even one a day. It's a lot of sugar in there by the end of the week. So he, I just cut that out. Uh, people tell me flavor water, but I got to watch. Got to watch. You know, so. And you can't drink the tap water here. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> my allergies are starting to kick in bad, man. I'm allergic to pollen. My eyes are... I'm actually allergic to kitty cats. Believe that. I mean, I love cats, but I just... If I'm around them a long time, my eyes get all bloodshot and watery and itchy. So, I can't have them as a pet. I have people I know that have pets and cats. They're friendly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm friendly with them. I was always a, more of a dog guy, but... It's a lot of work. You really got to devote yourself to, to any animal. So, I don't have that kind of time in my life to have one uh, anymore, so I just, uh, just admire them now. Did you know I just passed you? Yeah, he, she passed me. There she is. Uh -huh. She's passing me. She, oh, yeah, she did pass me, Venom. I know Venom. Venom, Venom is uh, all over his partner here. I don't understand that. He's, uh, you know... You guys want a hot dog, go out to the ballpark and he'll be with his hot dog hat on and his, if you want some donuts, he'll be out making donuts tonight at, at Crumpy's Donuts. He's, he works there making donuts and uh, he'll be at the stadium selling hot dogs in his hot dog outfit. <laughs> yeah, Venom's got a great sense of humor, that's a great part about it. He takes the good with the bad and the bad with the good and the good, the bad, the ugly. Now it's night time. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. We're going over the railroad track. That's what you hear. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> Bullshit, I don't work there. Yeah, you do. Come on. You're the crumpy guy. You're the, you're the spokesperson. Nah, I'm just kidding, everybody. I, he's, uh, I just like to razz him up a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So we're, uh, I think we're going to get just under an hour. It's a good walk today. We'll take tomorrow rest. Tomorrow. And Monday we're back at it. So the schedule next week, Monday through Saturday, 7.40, 7.45. And uh, Monday through Saturday for the Walk and Talk stream. Alpha Shot Lounge will be Monday, 6 p.m. And Wednesday, 6 p.m. Kai's Political show will be Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. And then Kai and Friends in the Morning Show with Mr. Venom Spider and Kai, 7.30 a.m. Monday through Fridays, but they do something on Saturday, I believe, at the same time. It's kind of a wrap-up time for the week. Kai does a lot of work, good work with the Grocery Embellish history. He takes very big pride in that, puts a lot of work into it. Uh, they're becoming more and more interesting. Uh, he digs deep and he, he finds the good stuff, man. You know, it takes a lot of talent. That. He's very good with his political show. He's very knowledgeable, which helps. Someone's that knowledgeable and makes people understand the stream better. Someone like me, I, I mean, I dabble in all kind of areas, but I'm not outside of baseball. Yeah, Kai's very intelligent, very dumb. I mean, I, I mean, I know baseball, but, you know, but I didn't know what baseball as I worked it. Like, I don't follow it that much no more, so I don't even know what the players are today. You know, I don't even know. For me, when I see coaches that I that I was around when they were players, then, it, then it's good for me, you know, because I'm not following them. I couldn't tell you I don't want to follow the draft no more at all. It's, it's kind of like when you're, uh, 
some guys become players and they retire after their career and they don't even go back to baseball. Some become coaches and managers, some become general managers. I'm one of them guys that's just done with it. It's better that way, you know? Keep the memories. I got a lot of good memories. Thirty days, huh, buddy? That, that's when spring training starts, right? Do what about two and a half weeks spring training? Excuse me. I hit. No, no. I almost tripped the other day off the railroad tracks going over it. I got my foot. I today, I almost tripped. There was like a pothole in the parking lot, and I went down in the and I put down. I was him. Oh yeah, I went down in the parking lot almost. My my foot got caught in the pothole and it twisted my ankle. So. Yeah, get some free hot dogs, man. I mean, we should have that. Don't you agree, Ross? Bro, Ross, we should have some free hot dogs, right? I mean, come on. Got to take care of us, right? Ross, you, it was you that I owed a shirt to, right? And I promised a shirt. It's going on the production here. Next, I think around the 27, 28, I'm having it done. Uh, I'm going to get with you the next couple of days. Uh, and, and see what kind of logo you want. Do you want the Walk and Talk Stream logo? Do you want... Give me some ideas of you've seen some of the stuff we got, what you would like on it. And I'm gonna have it done for you. And then we'll get it shipped out to you, buddy. And then uh, working on ones for the mods. And just something I want to appreciate you guys with. Just how I am, man. I used to have this old guy that used to do all the stuff for the Phillies, all the jerseys, put the name plates on, all the sewing. You can make anything, get a book, you can order anything you want, apparel wise, and you can embroider stuff. Uh, it's cool. So. Electric bikes are cool, aren't they? People. You know, in Florida, you gotta, I don't know how it is in some other states, but you gotta have a headlight and a tail light at night, just like you get caught, they give you a ticket. In some places, the uh, some cities uh, like Clearwater, I'm not actually talking Tarpon Springs. You can't have one of those electric bikes. They don't allow it. Or not electric, but the motor ones, the motorized ones, the gas ones. They actually they confiscate a good arrest for it. I mean, that's pretty petty, petty, you know, but I don't know why they would even care, man. People, at least they got something. They're not, they're not, they're all trying to make an honest living, you know, getting to work in that. And some, some places just amaze me how they worry about the pettiest stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Going to be dropping them baskets of chicken tenders. Oh, yeah. Chicken tenders. You're a chicken guy, man. I know that. You really like your chicken. I like chicken, too. But I like it, too. Fifty minutes, probably about eight minutes from our destination. So we're gonna head right, and I'll, I'll talk for two minutes, make it an even sixty minutes. Then we'll end our stream, and we'll be ready to go. I, if I if I could, from the Rumble Studio, do a walk and talk stream, like where it'll be just like I'm doing this now, or attach Rumble to here, I'll do it. Start putting that in. I'm working on that. Kai's been really working with Rumble Studio getting all the bugs out and working it so if he, if he gives me shows me some things I could do that uh, that's what I'm gonna do my wife will come down what's this tanker truck gas professional oh, that's a, a gas professional What's up, buddy? Okay, cool. Uh, quick question. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll reach out to you. I, I deleted my Twitter page, but I'll, 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 I'll go um, through my wife. It'll be, it'll be my wife's page. I'll reach out to you. Uh, yeah, I just 
want to take all the negative stuff from Twitter away from me. I just want to keep stay focused and positive. But I appreciate that space sheet. Like I said, uh, if I owe you anything, let me know. We'll talk about that. But thank you very much for coming in here and telling me. Very nice of you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, see? I did the same thing. Be careful at night. It's a little quieter than it was last night. A lot of people were out last night. A lot of noise. Subway, Metro PCS, Domino's, some kind of health band or pharmacy in the space available. That's cool. Jersey Shores, he says. Did you catch the fourth episode of uh, Blue Blood Swan? Where they dedicated that episode to uh, Trent Williams, who was one of... Uh, People that were on there, it's Frank Reagan's old partner and a good friend to uh, to him. You know, Trent Williams died of a motorcycle accident last year, I believe, or the year before. Bad accident. Trent Williams was in a movie called Once Upon a Time in America. A big cast of James Wood, Robert De Niro, John Forsythe. Uh, what's his name was there? Uh, the guy that played Paulie in uh, Rocky, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. He was in that. Uh, Joe Pesci was in there. A lot of big names in that one. Once Upon a Time in America. Chicago PD, Chicago PD is one of my favorite series. So real, it's so surreal. Um, I think they just completed their sixth episode. Blue Blood just 14 season, fourth one down. Fifty-four minutes. Just about to my street, and then so we'll just we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get. We're going to probably be out in front of the house in about three and a half minutes. So two and a half minutes we'll talk and end it. I well, thank everybody tonight for supporting. Appreciate it. Tomorrow's a great day of rest. Articular John. Hey, Ralph Cranville, how are you? Alice? Alice? Bam, Zoom. You're a real riot, Ellis. A real riot. That's Jackie Gleason, man. He was a classic, wasn't he? Yeah. He was. The honeymooners were a classic. Perfect cast. Audrey Meadows. The honeymooners starring Jackie Gleason. Audrey Meadows. Art Carney and Joyce Randolph. Hey, let, the, let the poet in your uh, chat. What did I say? Let the poet in your chat. Or let William Shakespeare in your uh, fucking chat know that he can't out poet me. Um, who's, out, who's that, Benham? Out, out, no, out riddle me. Benham? No. Who is it? Well, he keeps making these rhymes that I've made on my own. I said, listen, you got to go back and just read the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Ralph Grandham. Appreciate oh, that. Oh, look who's calling. Who? Oh. oh, really? He's drunk. Let him leave it to voicemail. Can't answer it. They never give up, Christina. They never. Hi, it's okay. It's never okay. Never give up until they get. Uh, we don't pay attention to that. Mr. C. Grandam Ralph said hello. Ralph hello, hello. Hello. Hello, mate. So we're gonna. I'll sit out and do a talk for about three and a half minutes to get to one hour exactly, because we're gonna be arriving here. Why don't you go sit at the bus stop? I'm saying. We can. No, there's people there. Across the street, I told you, you got a whole parking lot of food trucks, different uh, Spanish foods. And they're getting a big crowd now on weekends, man. Their power lot's packed. They got about six, uh, one, two, three, four, five food trucks going. And they got it all homemade. It's directly, it's called the food truck, uh, Tampa's 
Tampa's hot test food truck park. It's great. A lot of people there. It's cool. Glad to see them being successful. They just started a couple months ago. Whose truck is that? Huh? It's over there. Where? The food thing. That's where they park. Oh, that's probably this truck right here. That truck right there. That window's down. There's nobody in there. Where's Bixby? All right, we'll sit out here for a few seconds. Everybody, I want to thank you. Ross Dogs Overseas should invite George Fraser on the screen. George, George Fraser. I said I admit I let Bixby answer it. Yeah. Cool. All right, folks. I want to thank everybody for the night. I really appreciate it. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you Monday. Okay? Thank you. You guys have a great night. And uh, any last-minute questions or comments? Yes, we got uh, 58, seconds, 58 minutes here. About 20 seconds. Anything, any special requests, you guys don't have to leave me a message. Well, thank you all very much. All right. Good night. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you.